Hey, champion, how you doing, man? Good, good. Good, yeah. good. Hey, we had a good time this weekend, didn't we? Absolutely. At the conference? Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and we met your friend, right? Yeah. You introduced me to your friend. Yeah, my best friend for 20 years. 20 years, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, all of a sudden, what made you think, uh, why did you uh, have him uh, have me uh, talk to us? Yeah, because I, um, you know, we were at, like, the, the, the picnic table, and I... I know you're a man of power and breakthrough and, and you have the presence of God and I know he needed that. You know, he's my friend, it's just but sometimes you're close so close to your friends that you need someone else to help encourage and to help pray and, and break through. Why what did he need breakthrough for? So I asked him what he need prayer for and he said faith. Faith, yeah. Faith, because he was an atheist. He was an atheist, yeah. And oh. he and he I, what do you want prayer for? He said, Faith. I just want to believe. I don't believe and I want to pray for faith. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty awesome. How long have you been an atheist? Uh, for 25 years. 25 years. You know, you remember I, I told him, I said, hey, I'm not going to tell you about God. I'm going to demonstrate God to you. Right. Yeah, I said, I'm not going to, because you've heard all this other stuff. I said, I'm just going to tell it, by, and God's going to start hitting you. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. That's what happened. That's what happened, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah. Uh, Go he, got, he got lightheaded. And he later on went to tell me that he blacked out because he, he's never felt that way before. And he just felt a rush to his head and, yeah, blacked out. Well, you know, it's kind of interesting. I told him to start it out. I said, you know, uh, say, uh, close your eyes, say, Jesus, I press you. And you're going to feel the presence of God. And that's what he did. And that's when he got the lightheaded. And it kind of rocked him, didn't it? It rocked him. Because he wasn't, he wasn't expecting it. He was expecting a lecture. And then we exactly. give him all these exactly. things. No, we, we get demonstration of God. Mm -hmm. And then I led him yeah. to Christ. I said, hey, why don't you just open your heart up and, 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 see, and say a prayer with me and see if God will do something. But he, if you don't think he's there, he just doesn't laugh at right. Yeah. <laughs> and so he said an awesome prayer. Yeah. And, he, and I baptized the Holy Spirit. Fire, fire, fire. He took three deep breaths. And then... Yeah. He, was, he said that. And then what happened? So after after that, he um, after he got lightheaded, he actually, so you, you sat someone on the bench and then you sat me on the bench and he actually prayed for, you know, my foot, which was about a quarter inch. Yeah, I, I, I said your legs are going to go longer. Then. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, go ahead. My legs going to go longer. So you actually had him pray over my foot. And what happened was my foot grow about an inch. And my, my foot was only about a half an inch. Um, it was only about a half an inch bigger than the other foot. But it grew past the other foot. And then he said, go back. It went back. And then Arash said, in the name of Jesus, feet be even, feet be healed. And it went into perfect alignment. And he saw the power of Jesus right before his eyes. Right, right. And him not doing it, not me. It was a, a guy that was an atheist 20 years 50 seconds earlier yeah. than did that. De that was a demonstration of God, not uh, not a talking. And, right. he, and it came out of him. Yeah. And then what happened to you? Part. So what happened to me is that not only did um, not only did my leg get perfectly healed, whether it was my hips, but my knee got healed from all the sporting and events. My knee has been was was hurting, and it, it was completely healed. I was I was bending on it, squatting on it, no pain at all. What did he say about that? He he was he was shocked. He actually didn't have words to say, but later on at the campsite, someone said their back was hurting. And he's like, "Do you want me to pray for you?" Get out of here! He said that. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, did he get healed? <laughs> I don't know if he prayed for them, but my but my, I know my dad got wrecked just by hearing that cuz my dad has known him, has seen him. Oh. And so just hearing that rattled my dad. Just hearing that my my friend that was a former atheist would step out in prayer rattled my father and shook shook up my father so much that I know he was healed and delivered in certain areas of his life. In his life. Your dad, and your yeah. dad's been a Christian a long time, huh? Yeah, 20 20 years, years. but yeah. that's what this does this stuff here when you get a new Christian that's most mature Christians wouldn't do that not somebody step step out and let me you want me to pray for you yeah. the God of power of God in and, and see atheists can be changed but we got to yeah, right. get over demonstrating God not not just uh, t t tell them about it yeah absolutely. yeah it was awesome it was yeah. an awesome deal I've been on an atheist role here lately so this is happening <laughs> Pretty Amazing. cool. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, man. Thanks for the testimony. Yeah, thank we'll, you. We'll put this Appreciate on YouTube. It. Yeah, all right. Awesome. Cool. Thanks.